Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, just been watching Phantom Menace and in between that and sort of rearranging my room a little bit, the three and three quarter inch collection, I uh, decided to throw together a bit of a video of the pod racers uh, from episode one of the Phantom Menace and sort of take a look at what characters we got and which ones are still missing. Um, I do have all the pod racers that are currently available from Hasbro. Uh, these have sort of come out anywhere from between 1999 to I think the most recent ones were uh, maybe 2012, maybe late 2011. Um, so it has been a while between between drinks, so to speak. Um, I do have my expanded Phantom Menace visual guide here, which is uh, this one. This came out. Uh, with the 3D release back in 2012. So I've just got that open to the first of two pod racer pages. So I thought we'd just go through and take a look. So first up we've got Anakin Skywalker, obviously. This is a, a 1999 release, this one. It's still... Well, it's still a decent looking figure for Anakin. It's, uh, I definitely wouldn't complain about a nice update for young Anakin Skywalker. I thought we may have got one, um, particularly in the Black Series, a uh, six inch scale version of young Anakin from episode one would be great. And uh, it has been a long time. This is uh, 1999 and it has held up pretty well uh, up, to, up until now. It doesn't need a lot of articulation, but um, yeah, I certainly wouldn't complain about a new one. Could definitely get him looking a lot more realer these days with the face paint apps, but he's fine. So look, look here, we've got Team Topagalis, or Pagalize. You can pause that and have a look. There's his pod. It's got the sort of rotating cockpit there. They um, get shot at by the Tuscans. But here is his figure. And if I just pop him off the stand, this guy's from 2002. So he would have come out in the Saga line with the uh, Attack of the Clones release. So yeah, it's an 18, 19 year old figure now. Um, his glasses do pop up. He's got a pretty, pretty amusing looking face. Makes me think of the old, not, the old sitcom dinosaurs. Just I'm not sure. It's just something about his face, or dinos, or whatever it was. Um, you already remember the puppet sitcom uh, from from the eighties, early nineties, perhaps. So he's he's still a cool figure. He's got articulated tail. Um, I'm not interested in really getting updates for these figures, I just want the ones they've missed. So there's Team 2, I'll put him aside. And if we look here, we've got Rats Terrell. And then we've got his figure back in the Vintage Collection 2011-2012. So here he is, little guy. He's very, very small. Uh, his glasses, his goggles do pop up as well. That was one thing I don't have with the Anakin is his um his sort of pod racing helmet and face mask. I never did get that Anakin. Uh, the most recent one came out in the movie Heroes line uh, when Phantom Menace hit in 3D. And uh, yeah, that was that was a repack, but I uh, I kind of wish I got that one. Right, so next up we've got Gascano. Is a very interesting looking alien. Super cool. Here's his figure. Quite an amusing looking little guy. I've just dropped his stand, but that's okay. Uh, his all his elbows, no, sorry, shoulders are articulated. Again, another one that doesn't really need an update. You know, they could probably just re-release this same guy 
Uh, he came out in 1999, part of the Phantom Menace figure line. Look closely. He looks like he's got a uh, big old smile on his face. It's not really showing up. Kind of see it. <laughs> he's got a bit of a bit of a grin there, anyway. So last on this page, uh, we have Ben Quaternaro's. Just still today, probably one of the weirdest looking aliens in Star Wars. The fact that he is just a head with limbs. And uh, this was heavily pitched uh, to Hasbro by Fanboys director Carl Newman. And uh, yeah, they did make an appearance. These species made an appearance in um, Clone Wars Season 7. It's part of that Underworld Ahsoka arc. This actually turned out to be a really cool figure. He looks, looks very interesting. Strange looking alien. And uh, yeah, he didn't have a great time of it in Phantom Menace. He was uh, certainly off his A game. He had the uh, quad quad engines. So yeah, he's he was a vintage collection release, um, which is kind of astounding considering. The amount of characters we don't have in the vintage collection yet, but Ben Qu Ben Quaternero has got a release. So we'll just um, turn the page here, so we can do it without bending the page. So this is where we start getting into some uh, characters that we don't have. So Aldar Beto is uh, one we don't yet have a figure of. Be a cool looking alien. Arc Bumpy Roos, another one we don't have. I like how they've got all their flags in the book too. A dim witted knuck nog from Sump. <laughs> there you go. One Sandwich. Interesting looking fella. Now Mars Guo, we do have a figure of Mars Guo. Do like his pod racer. And here is here is Mars Guo. These glasses do pop up. Maybe they pop down. I can't remember. Remember, no, they will pop off. He almost looks like a swan, like a lizard swan or something. <laughs> like a bit of a interesting looking alien. But they made him, and that's uh, still still cool that they made such a uh, you know just a random pod racing alien. It's uh, Hasbro back in the day. They weren't afraid of putting out the odd strange characters. And, uh, yeah, I think they've forgotten that, uh, we definitely appreciated them back in the day. Because this guy's a cool addition. I like him a lot. So next we've got Clegg Holdfast. This is another figure we've got. A Nosorian from New Plimpto. His uh, goggles do pop up and off. Again, it's hard to do with one hand. I usually use a tripod. But not this time. So this guy still holds up pretty well. He's got um, he's got ball hinge shoulders and uh, only swivels in the elbows. No, he has ball hinges in the elbows as well. Uh, hinges in the knees, so he's got good articulation. He is from 2009, so Legacy Collection. Clegg Holdfast, he's a, he's a good one. Uh, 
Bowls Roar, this weird looking alien. Uh, we don't yet have him. We have here Never Key. Cool looking alien, they're all cool. And down here we got more Honic. Now this guy got a vintage collection release as well. Um, his initial release was, uh, let's see if we can find a date stamp, it's not popping out to me at the second. Um, yeah, I can't find a date stamp on this guy, but he was also released in the sort of movie heroes line for Phantom Menace in 3D. And he's got a small little version of Rees. You assume that he's maybe a child, like Anakin, or just a small version of his species. So yeah, he was out in 2011-2012. He's got great articulation, uh, swivels in the hips, ball joint knees, ball jointed ankles, ball joints in the shoulders, elbows. I think he's only got swivels in the wrists. Cool ball joint in the head, great detail on this one. More Honic, he's a uh, he's a cool one. I like him a lot. Now yeah, for just Dud Bolt, we do have Dud Bolt. Here yeah, they've given him the picture of him not wearing any clothes. But the figure came with him fully kitted out. In his uh, pod racing gear, and um, again, I'm not sure with this guy whether looks like his face mask does come off. I don't re recall ever actually taking it off myself, um, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. But he's uh, got the the vest on, a little insignia there on his shoulder. Cool looking alien, I like this guy a lot. He's almost got a ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> Just to hold the helmet on. Yep. Dud Bolt. He had a cool pod racer. Elon Mack. Another one we don't have yet, in figure form. Ibi Endicott. A big vicious scar across his stomach. Originally a daredevil delivery man on Trifus. He's an interesting looking alien. And lastly, we have Odie Mandrell. Again, naked, but uh, I do have the figure here. This is one of the first figures. Um, I remember getting this one for Christmas in 2019. There is a photo of me uh, holding it still in the packaging. I do have one in the packaging as well. I've just got a little bit of nostalgia for this character. Uh, just, a, just a strange looking alien. Oh, I remember we unwrapping it thinking it was a, an odd choice of character, but mum thought it was a funky looking alien. And uh, he came with a pit droid. There was a couple of these figures in 99 that came with a pit droid, which is cool. I do have a few of those sort of sitting around. And without Missing this guy, the main adversary of the race, Saburba. And this guy's had a couple of releases, um, one that could certainly do with a update. Uh, not that this is bad either. His uh, mask does come off. I did it just before, I promise. not going to for me right now but it does he does look cool under there under the mask too he's got there there he is look at that 
This is, uh, this is one that would benefit greatly from modern technology and paint applications and stuff like that. A little bit more articulation. He's holding the little thing that he rips off of Anakin's pod as he taunts him before the race. But we did get one of his species in put in Jabba's palace in the blue race. So it's just a cool little bit of uh, alien continuity. Again, that's uh, something that the sequel trilogy really missed out on. There's a little bit of uh, alien continuity just to see, us, see the familiar and crazy aliens. So that's it guys, that's the uh, Pod Racer Aliens. I really wanted to just whip a quick video together. Probably ended up being a little bit longer than I planned, but that's okay. Let me know what you think in the comments. Get them all to stand back up before I finish up the video. Maybe not. There we go. We have the crew. Great bunch of aliens. They're still really only half finished. If we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven still need to be made. And uh, yeah, we'd love to see some more pod racing aliens in the future. So come on, Hasbro. Show us what you got. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And hit that little notification bell so you can be alerted when my new videos hit the internet. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.